everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and today we're gonna have some affordable board fun with the Kuvave Cube Baby. The Kuvave. Cube Baby? Kuvave Cube Baby? <laughs> so anyways, uh, this is actually a special Cube Baby in that uh, Kuvave, they like me and they're cool. So they put my version of their logo there with the umlauts and whatnot so you can pronounce it Kuvave. And they put the 60s Heikel Hum logo on the back. They are an OEM. They'll put, you know, other people's logos there if you want to and build you, you know, these pedals for you to sell. So anyways, uh, what is this thing? It comes with some cables, an instruction manual. Um, it's basically, I already took a peek at it and figured it out. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's uh, basically an entire affordable board with amp and cab in one battery operated little thing here. It seems like all the import brands are starting to aim for multi-effect units. Uh, earlier, a while back, I did the Donner Multipad 100. Similar sort of concept. So anyways, like I said, battery operated. Flick that on, powers up. We'll plug it right in there, direct into my field recorder. I'll monitor it with headphones. And we'll go through what we've got here really quick. We've got amp type right here on this rotary switch. Gain for that amp, tone for the amp. You've got a modulation uh, delay with time, feedback, and mix. And then you've got a reverb and your impulse response cab right there. And then of course, a volume control. It also does uh, tuning. It has a built-in tuner. And uh, you can do presets and things like that. Um, I haven't, you know, taken a dive that deep in how to operate it. So anyways, let's check it out. Let's hear this thing. In affordable tradition, I'm gonna use an affordable guitar. This time, the Harley Benton TE90 FLT. They make these in a bunch of other uh, finishes now. They have these like sandblasted, kind of like dark grained with, you know, colors poking out sort of deal. So check that out. I'll have the link down below. I'm gonna need that tuner. That tuner is a little bit clunky. You only get three lights to tell you what's going on. In tune is the middle red light here, uh, flat and then sharp over here. And then it's got a bunch of LEDs to tell you what string you're on. I think they should have done a full range here, you know, and have this be in tune. And you know what string you're on. You don't need it to tell you that. So anyways, let's get into the sounds. When you turn it on, you are in live preset mode and there are three different presets you can choose from. So we'll go through those, start with the middle. But really clean and coursey there. So then a quick tap. All right, quick tap and then you are into live mode, not the preset mode, which means you can turn off the IR cab and reverb. You can turn off the delay and modulation or turn it back on and you can turn on and off the amp distortion sort of section of it. So let's pull up the manual here and look at the list of options for the amp and the cab sims. 
And then we'll explore the delay and modulation after that. So you've got eight amp settings here and eight cab settings here, which means you have 16 possible combinations. If I, you know, understand how to do math still. It's the reverb all the way out. We'll start at the beginning. I'm not gonna do all 16 possible combinations. That is stupid. But let's find a cab that I'm sure to like. So this is listed as a Fender Pro Princeton 2, which they list as a 1x12 cab. That's interesting. And the first amp we're on is the US Gold 50B. sparkle on the high end is almost like an acoustic quality. Let's dime the gain and see what happens. that. It sounds small, it sounds like a headphone amp sort of deal, but that's a tone that I could work with. Bring the reverb in. It's honestly prettier than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next uh, amp impulse response. This is the UK Gold Clean. I'm assuming that's some kind of clean Marshall sound. A little bit of grit there with the gain up. Next up is the Kali MK3 clean. Doesn't sound clean. Let's try that with a different cab. There we go. That is the Line 6 Veda 1x10 cab, apparently. This cab is a 2x12 Marshall 1960A and 1960B. All right. Seems to work with that amp. It's kind of nasal sounding, but this is a $50 headphone amp that runs on battery. I'm honestly a little bit impressed. So far, I, I've got to say I like it better than the Donner Super Nintendo controller here. <laughs> It feels a little bit more substantial right out of the gate.
next amp is the Power Zone Distortion. There's no click or anything, so it's a little tricky to know when you switch. This is the Power Zone Clean. Doesn't sound too clean to me, but okay. US Gold 100 Clean. Sounds massive. This is the Cali JPA. JPB. JPB now. I will say, I've only got the volume just underneath, halfway up, plenty of volume out of this. That was a huge issue I had with the Donner. I don't want to dog on this too much, but I had to have the volume all the way up on this for it to sound, you know, kind of usable in room. If there was other noises going on in the room, it would have been an issue. Um, plenty of output on this, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> The last one, gas station clean. We'll see if it's clean. No, I, I don't know why they label these things the way they did. I'm assuming gas station means it's a uh, diesel sort of copy.
it all has this kind of like cheap digital sort of amp sim kind of sheen over the sound of all of it. But for 50 bucks for a battery powered headphone amp that you could throw in your gig bag, keep it in the dashboard of your car so you can jam on lunch breaks and whatever. A lot of that sounded decent. And the fact that you can jump around different cab settings for each amp, I think there's something there. I think there is a value here. I don't think anyone should use this as like their front of house amp replacement, rig replacement sort of deal. It just sounds a little bit too cheap, a little bit too much of that digital sheen, like I said. But I mean, 50 bucks, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, let's get into the modulations and delays. Or delay, there's only one delay. I wanna bring that clean back. So there's two different modulations. In the middle, it's off in case you wanna have it off and have the delay on. Yeah, there's not gonna be any smooth Spaceship landing analog delay sounds there. It doesn't go into infinite feedback either. But. There is a fun bit of like modulation on a very digital delay. Like you can hear it kind of degrade and modulate as it trails off. There's something very pretty about that. Now the modulation, we'll bring the mix all the way down on the delay. Sounds like a phaser to the right. And a chorus to the left. I mean, I hate to do it, but going back to the Donner multi-pad, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the chorus and the flange, the flanger on here were hilariously bad. The tremolo was the only, you know, good modulation on here. Um, I kind of wish there was a tremolo on here instead of the phaser. That would have been useful to me, but I get why they went with a phaser instead. That chorus sounds decent though.
go full ambient. I mean, especially for 50 bucks, if this was some sort of, you know, like $150 pedal, I'd be like, oh man, this sounds cheap. It does sound cheap, but it is cheap. So it works, right? <laughs> also it has a little Wi-Fi thing blinking here. Uh, it says that you can connect it to a phone um, for accompaniment. So you could, you know, play a song through it and play along and stuff like that through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, something like that. I'm not gonna figure it out right now, but I'm assuming it works. Um, you can also plug it in via the USB plug. It comes with those cables. To charge it, of course, you charge it through that USB, but you can connect it to a phone and record with it, is what the manual says. I don't wanna take the deep dive to figure that all out and make sure my phone works, um, but I'll just trust it for now. Says the sample rate is 48K slash 24 bit. I honestly don't know what that means. I'm not up on, you know, kind of sample rate information. Uh, the, battery, the battery capacity is 600 milliamps. That sounds pretty decent. I bet this thing runs a long time on the battery. Um, how to edit a tone. We know that we can edit tones. It sounds like when you are in live preset mode, you can edit these presets and then save it. So you don't build a preset and then save it over one of these. You start with the preset and build over it. I don't know, what do you what do you guys think? Do you think this is a worthwhile sort of little thing here? Keep this in your gig bag, keep it in your, you know, your glove box, like I mentioned. Keep it in your pocket <laughs> as you walk around wherever and just know you have an amp in your pocket. I think it's cool. For 50 bucks, I could recommend it for those sorts of uses. Like I said, I don't think you should put this on your pedal board and have it be, you know, your new impulse response loader or cab simulation or anything like that. I think it just sounds a little bit too cheap, but it's priced correctly. It's fun. I feel like there's uh, some room for me to get some good tones out of this. I feel like I got a couple of good tones out of it, at least fun tones, tones I would have, you know, plenty of fun sitting and jamming in my car with, you know, if I was on lunch break. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to reading your guys' comments down below. I definitely think, I mean, I hate dogging on it. I, I There's plenty of Donner pedals that I love, plenty of Donner products that I love, but the multi-pad, same price, 50 bucks, and the Kuvave just kind of creamed it. Go back and watch this video to see what I'm talking about. Also, one more thing. I actually have two of these. They originally sent me the unbranded one, and that was the one I was checking out and learning from. Um, so I don't need to keep two. I'll keep this one because it's got my logo on it. And you know, of course, but I wanna give this away. I wanna give this away to one of you guys. So what I want you to do is I want you to go over to Instagram and I want you to make 
a sandwich out of a piece of gear. That means two pieces of bread and a piece of guitar gear in between. Um, no tacos, no hot dogs, no hamburger buns. Come on, make it a sandwich. Proper bread, please. I'm not gonna fight that fight. You know what I mean. So make a sandwich, post it on Instagram, hashtag 60 cycle yum, and I'll pick my favorite and send this out in the next week or so. I'll, I'll track you down and get your shipping information and give it to you if you make my favorite 60 cycle yum post. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. You know the whole deal. Buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded. Bye everybody.